Hey guys, in today's video, I have a special surprise for you. Well, it's special to me. We have the Duramax XP1600i. This is a 16 kilowatt inverter gas and propane generator. I'm probably going to be running it on propane. And here we have a peak watts of 15,200 and running watts of 12,350. That is enough to produce a steady current of 51 amps at 240 volts. So we're going to try to, I'm going to put some oil in it. We're going to crank it up, go over it and some of the features and let it run my house. I got a lot that this thing can, can run. Of course my air conditioner my entertainment system um i have a well and i have a sewage pump and of course the hot water heater it may be able to do it all at one time we're about to find out this is one of the tools that comes with it that is a eight millimeter little wrench. All right, let me see. Looks like we gotta hook up our negative terminal. We gotta put some gas in, excuse me, some oil in there. I'm probably not gonna use gas at all. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that hooked up. This is the stuff that comes with it. There's a, a book kit in here, complete with pictures to tell you how to do everything in case you can't read English. And um, a little tool kit and this. Let me get something to hold that, tighten it a little better. All right, now let's fill it with some oil. Our oil fill. Really. I think it said a liter and a half. But we are going to check with our dipstick before we
Boy, you helping. I'm using 10W30 on this. Hey, stay away from there. What you got all over your nose? See if we can tell how much we have put in. Looks like we're just over a liter. So um just a little bit more. It's supposed to be a liter. Right, and that half. was about a liter and a half. And we are right up close to the full mark. So this thing's ready to crank. You'll notice on this that it does not have a pull string to help crank it. There we go. This is going to be your oil drain right here. Nice little convenient way to drain the oil without spilling it everywhere. This is a V-twin engine, so I've got cylinders on both sides. So it takes two spark plugs. We are about to crank this, this bad boy up. I'm gonna run it on propane, which is probably gonna be my primary fuel on this. Get it ready. Big old heavy 50 amp cord here. Looks like I'm gonna have to bring it closer. turn this one off and uh, we'll get our propane hooked up and we'll crank her up keep that switch to propane low idle off Turn it on. I don't know if y'all can see this display, but a nice bright display. Fuel off, store. Fuel on, run. Got to switch to LP.
it's actually kind of quiet for um, it being on high like that. turn that on we're at 0.6 kilowatts it was surging when there was absolutely no load all right let's see if we can get anywhere near that um 15.2 kilowatts it is on low idle i want to turn it down to where it comes on y'all hear that that was on low idle so let's go outside and see if the air conditioner is running it is running it's doing its thing and that's a three ton air conditioner no hard start kit or soft start kit of any kind three kilowatts Here we'll turn on my well and that sewage pump. Entertainment system, Wi-Fi on. That's the least of that thing's worries. All right, we got the, the well is running. It just turned off. back on huh? um, I don't know why I quit producing power there for a second but it sure did all right so I'm running my water my well will come on every once in a while TV internet air conditioning and I'm probably nowhere near the limit on this it's reading 7.6 kilowatts I need to adjust my my low idle um, when something major shut off when it was in low idle it would it would it would idle way down to the point where it started going whoa, whoa, and it would quit producing power that happened to me twice I put it on high idle now and I'm not having that problem I've got my air conditioner everything running 
and it seems to ramp up and ramp down it's just at a higher idle but I do need to adjust that low idle and here we are it's right here it's not really loud at all at high idle I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and we're gonna check it